Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Amir Ashraf Bay Rahman My name is Afiq Amir Zambi Hashim I'm from group HM2455A1 My name is Dana Shirfan Wai Muhammad Ismadi I'm from uh, HM2455A1 Hi, my name is Tripin Basli I'm from HM2455A1 Assalamualaikum, my name is Haris Hakimi Ben Yusuf so let's go today i will tell to you all about a cabri company background cabri formerly is a british multinational conventionary company owned by Mondales international international originally craft food since 2010 cabri International internationally headquartered in Oxbridge, West London and operates in more than 50 countries worldwide. It's known for its dairy cho milk chocolate, the cream egg and roses selection box and many other confectionery products. It also is the second largest confectionery brand in the world after Mars. They are also one of the best known British brands in 2013. The Daily Telegraph named Cadbury among Britain's most successful exports. Cadbury was established in Birmingham, England in 1824 by John Cambry, a Quaker who, sell, who sold tea, coffee, and drinking chocolate. Cambry developed the business with his brother Benjamin, followed by his son Richard and George. Cambry product dairy milk chocolate introduced in 1905 use a higher portion of milk within the recipe compared with rival products by 1914 the chocolate was the company best selling product Cadbury was granted its first royal warrant from Queen Victoria in 1854. Beginning in 2015, Mondales began closing Cadbury factories in several developed countries, including Ireland, Canada, the United States, and New Zealand, and shifting production to advantage country locations like China, India, Brazil, and Mexico. The closure of Capri factories in the centers such as Dublin, Montreal, Chicago, Philadelphia, and Dunedin in New Zealand granted outcries from the local population. First, we know that chocolate products are popular in Malaysia and we know that our products made in Malaysia are halal. But in the in May 2014, Capri Malaysia had an issue a voluntary recall of two batch of halal labeled Cadbury chocolate bar after a random testing by Malaysian health authorities in February was found they were contaminated with pork DNA and the effect is the product the I'm sorry, the public concern and rumors about the contaminated product have uh, escalated on various social media platforms. Some Muslims call for a boycott of Cadbury product and its factory to stop operating. This can cause the company conflict for the Cadbury Malaysia. And they need to discuss in the organization to solve the current problem. It may include the group decision making to increase the acceptance acceptance of solution and to gain more complete information through this problem but it may be some difficult and pressure to the 
organization and for this time the leader should guide their worker to settle down this conflict and finally they had decided to make a second test for their product to protect their company reputation I think this is a good idea Bing. whether during the crisis or after the crisis Cavalry Malaysia maximizes its use of the media and maintain accessibility. It issued the statement on their official website. Its accessibility enabled the public, the media, to know their attitude and stand during the difficult time. In June 2014, Jakim announced that new tests had been carried out on 11 product sample and no trace of poison contamination had been found. The company chose the effective strategy to respect for local culture and social rule is a top priority to protect its reputation and avoid aggravating <laughs> the crisis. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. And I'm going to present about bacteria issue in United Kingdom or also be known as Cadbury Salmonella Crisis. On 2007, the world's largest confectionery company which is Cadbury had to recall seven of its products in UK and Ireland due to contamination of Salmonella Montevideo. The company decided to issue a recall over a million of their affected products after they had discussion in their organization. The chairman of the Cadbury urged their employees and everyone related in the organization to learn a lesson from the affair. Speaking of a deep concern to ensure that we do not let our customer and ourselves down. Will the issue affect the company? Yes, they will affect the company. So the organizational need to make a decision making and discussion among the organization to make a proper solution. In conclusion, the lesson that can be learned is for crisis management and reputation manager where they need to work together as a team in organization. So the next challenge and issue of Cadbury is the 2003 worm case in India. Due to this problem, the reputation of Cadbury was hampered. Then Cadbury sales went down by 30% which they had expected to increase by 50% due to the negative publicity. For the first time, Cadbury advertisement went off air for one and a half month because of this controversy. So how Cadbury recovers and settles this problem? First, they have made a press at regarding facts about Cadbury. Then, they have made a poster and leaflet on the issue, then distribute to the retailers, encouraging them to share them with consumer. The third is, they have, they have launched a new double packaging that was able to wrap. So how this problem that has been faced by Cadbury organization relates to organization behavior. As we can see and learn, they need to have more strong ethic and initiative to solve the problem as fast as they can. This is not just personal matter, but a big teamwork should do and working together to make a better improvement. Not just changing the new packaging, Cadbury wrote in Abitabachan as a brand ambassador. This is to help them to get back the consumer confidence. We can look here that Cadbury have hired Amitabh Bachchan as their ambassador to help their organization to get back the consumer confidence. This proof that Cadbury organization very take serious responsibility on their consumer first of all by taking their confidence and trust after facing this issue. The important element of crisis extracted from Cap the Cadbury milk worm crisis are strong ethic, initiative, honesty, and integrity. We also can learn from the Cadbury 
company that they are focused to regain product trust, restoring the company image and reputation. So as for presentation today, I want to present the, uh, why we chose the Cadbury, Cam Cadbury company for our presentation and I will explain in general about the Cadbury company. Uh, the company that we chose is the Cadbury and the reason why is because the Cadbury company is, very, is large and well known uh, around the world. So that's why we chose this company to be our case and our report. Um, we had like that uh, about the, how the company, how the Cadbury company tackle and handle the uh, employee engagement by describing the human resource issues in this presentation. And my friend will explain later about the issues and the problem solved by them. The next point is the, how the employees demonstrate their commitment, effort, and dedication to achieve the objective of what 